it's Scott. And in a previous Give Me Five, we touched on the whole idea of how to figure out where do you needle a kid's chest. So now we're going to go ahead and take that one step further and just quickly say, all right, now you know where you want to needle. Well, how do we actually needle? Well, first thing that comes into play is what size needle. That's important because what's kind of neat if you geek out and you look at the research in a recent study when they looked at pediatric trauma kids that were getting chest CT scans so they could see how big was their chest wall and how much tissue was there to play with. They actually found that if you fit on the Braslow tape and remember as a rule if you fit on the Braslow tape you also fit with hand heavy as well. But if you fit on the Braslow tape, unless you were morbidly obese, that interestingly, a 14 gauge inch and a quarter, meaning your regular IV catheter that you would use to start an IV on a big old adult trauma, actually was long enough to hit what you're trying to hit in every kid. So that's whereas now some EMS systems have just made their equipment selection a lot easier. And they just said, if you fit on the Braslow tape or hand tabby and you have to stick their chest, one size fits all. They're just using a 14 gauge inch and a quarter unless you're morbidly obese for everybody. The difference is when it comes to adults. Adults, that's a different story because they've shown in the military that if you have a fair amount of muscle or a fair amount of fatty tissue, and you use your 14 gauge, even a two inch, that if you stick the front, it's not long enough to hit what you're trying to hit in a really high percentage of time. So with that in the military for several years, just like babies that we've done for years, now across the board, more and more places, instead of sticking the front, are sticking the side. And the rationale is that if you stick in the fourth or the fifth on the side, you've got a whole lot less tissue on the side and you have a much better chance of actually hitting what you're trying to hit. So when it comes to what size needle, again, as a rule, if it looks like a kid and it fits on Braslow or hand heavy, just as a rule, an inch and a quarter, 14 gauge, or if they're morbidly obese, a two inch works fine. However, on the adult side, more and more places have gone beyond the 14 gauge to needles that are actually made to needle the chest. And why that's important is, first of which, if you take the three and a quarter, it's an inch and a quarter minimum longer than the other one. But more importantly, you notice that it's a whole lot stiffer, meaning your chances of getting kinked as it goes through the tissue is a lot less. Take that one step further, now they make the three and three quarter inch needle. Take that one step further, and we also have on the adult side, but some places use them for their bigger kids as well, and that's this one, which is called the turkle. So when it comes to this needle, a couple of cool features. Number one, you see that it's long enough comfortably to hit what you're trying to hit. The other kind of neat feature though is if you look right here in this little window, it currently shows a green colored piece of paper. However, as it starts off green, just as a representation, if my fist were the chest, as you go through the tissue, when it meets resistance, you see in the window that it changes to red, meaning caution. But when it senses that lack of pressure, meaning you popped into the pleura, and the pressure is no longer there, it pops back to green. So starts off green, meeting resistance going through tissue. When it pops back to green, that means you've popped into what you're trying to hit. So now you know where you're going to stick, and you picked the appropriate size length or type of needle to stick. Now to finish, I just want to show you a quick trick that a baby doc years ago taught me when it comes to sticking kids. And he said this technique works for babies, but it also works for kids. And interestingly, it works in the back of the rig for adults as well. And he said, you only want to stick that needle into your chest as far as you have to. He's like, because in a little baby, if you only have to go like this far, he said, if you go in two inches, you're going to hit a whole lot of things beyond just what you're trying to hit. 
So he's like, here's what you want to do. He's like, take your needle. And instead of just blindly sticking it in the chest, he's like, take a syringe with a little bit of saline and hook it onto the needle. Find wherever it is that you want to stick. Go ahead and as you stick, suck. Because when you see bubbles flying back into the syringe, it's instant gratification, meaning you've hit what you're trying to hit. Then you can go ahead, pull back your needle just a tiny bit, and you can go ahead and thread the catheter into the chest. Now, the last part though, simply is this is in the chest, what the heck do I do with it? Well, in reality, you've got a couple options. First of which is if you just have some variation of a stopcock. Remember, if you have a stopcock, that if you read it off means off. So this, if you notice, will screw onto the catheter. And if you've ever seen the movie Three Kings, you remember this technique. Whereas George Clooney showed how you could go ahead and turn it off to the patient. And when they had difficulty breathing, you could just go ahead and open it up so that air could be released. And when they were better, just simply flip off back to the patient. Your other option, if you happen to have it, is some variation of a Heimlich valve. And this one comes with the Cook decompression set. But the idea remains that on one end, you've got a lower lock that you can put onto here. You've got your stopcock. But at the other end, what's kind of cool is you have this little area, which is just a one-way valve. And it allows air to flow out, or you can hook it up to suction. But as it tries to come back, it's not able because it's a one-way valve. So either way, remember, you stick exactly the same place in a kid as you do an adult. The technique is exactly the same as it is for an adult. The only difference is for kids, for most of them, a 14 gauge inch and a quarter needle works great. But as we get bigger, you need a much bigger needle and catheter as well.